The reaction between an alkene and a halogen will result in the formation of a three-membered cyclic halonium ion, which later gets attacked by the halide ion in solution, forming an anti-addition dihalide product. These reactions are performed under nonpolar solvents such as carbon tetrachloride to ensure the dihalide product. But what would happen if we performed it under water, for example? The same three-membered cyclic intermediate will form as the alkene reacts with the halogen, but in this case, a water molecule will attack the intermediate, forming a halohydrin product. Let's talk about why the change of solvent resulted in a change of product throughout these two reactions. Let's start with the obvious. Even though the halide ion is a stronger nucleophile than water, Water's the solvent and outnumbers the ion in solution. In addition, ion-dipole interactions between the ion and water molecules would decrease the halide ion's nucleophilic strength. Now, this principle of changing the solvent and changing the main nucleophile that attacks the intermediate is not exclusive to this reaction. We can see it with acid-catalyzed alkoxy addition, forming ether products, or even an oxymercuration, where instead of using water, we can use an alcohol to form an ether product.